Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Ty Jaleh. Let's get straight into this hair. Believe it or not, this is a wig. My very first, so stay tuned. I'll show you the hair details and how I installed it. So I'm back with my real hair. Many of y'all already know what it looks like. The wig I got is from Her Given Hair. I've used their hair many times for other styles, but never a wig. So this is what it looks like straight out of the package. It has this four by four inch lace closure right in the front of the hair. You can wear this wig many ways. It comes kind of like in a bang style. So you can wear bangs or you can wear a side part. And also you have extra clips and an elastic to make it even tighter. So here's what the actual hair looks like on a head. I didn't mention the curl pattern is a coily 3C4A pattern. I've gone ahead and washed and deep conditioned it and I'm gonna get ready to style it. So you can style this hair however you want to in a wash and go, a twist out, a braid out, whatever. I'm choosing to do a twist out. So I'm gonna take my product of choice, Strands of Faith Moisturizing Styling Cream and use it to set these twists. Now I'm gonna assume many of y'all already know how to do a twist out, if not, click that video above. And I'm gonna speed past this so we can get to how to apply the wig. Once you finish twisting the wig, you can leave it to air dry overnight or a little longer. I allowed mine to sit overnight. It was a little damp still, so at least 12 hours or more. Now, by the next morning, my hair is washed and set for this wig. A lot of people do a whole bunch of corn rolling, so I'm trying to make this as easy as possible for y'all. I've already laid my edges down just to give myself a guide when I do the wig. So I'm gonna pin these braids away. And if you have a wig cap, definitely put one on. I don't, so I'm gonna show you this without a wig cap. Now you just put the wig on like a hat. This part is pretty simple. Just make sure your lace front is positioned where it's supposed to be and you're using the two side clips and the back clip to clamp it on and make it secure. Also, don't forget to pull the straps in the back and clamp them together. If it is a little big, you also have the elastic to make the wig tighter. Now here's where it gets fun. I'm using got to be glued styling spiking glue to hold the wig down. So I'm going to lift this front part and apply a little bit of it right in front of my hairline, not on my hair, but in front of it. And then I'm going to secure it down. You can use a blow dryer to speed up that drying process. I'm gonna take a little more and do the same to the size. This is where I will recommend that you have that wig cap because I'm putting it right behind my hairline. So on my actual hair. Now that it's glued and secured onto your head, begin unraveling the twist as you would with your own hair, popping it open and making sure to take your time. I know it's a wig and not your hair, but you still want that frizzless, high definition twist out. So take your time as you separate and unravel each twist. Okay, now you can cut the lace that's on the wig. You can also do this before you even put it on your head and try to cut as close to the hairline of the wig as you can. So if I did this again, I would probably do it off my head and try to get closer to the hairline of the wig so there's less lace. To make the hairline look a little more natural, I'm just grabbing a little hair and cutting it. Now I'm very strategic about where I'm cutting it. I chose to do this corner because I always swoop down some baby hair right here in this corner. So I'm cutting where I know I would naturally have my own baby hair. And when I brush it down, I'll be able to brush the wig hair down with the baby hair that's already kind of out from my own hair. So now that I have both of my corners, I'm gonna cut the sides also, but I'm not cutting as short as I did at the corners. I'm cutting enough so that it kind of looks like natural breakage, so to speak. Our hair on the edges of our hair are not as long as the rest of our hair, but it's not as short as the baby hair. So I'm cutting it enough so that if I don't slick these sides down, that the curliness covers up the wig edge on its own. Now for the front, which I was most nervous about, I'm just taking this small section and I'm gonna do the same thing I kinda did with the corners of my edges. Just cutting a little piece and then pulling it down. I want it to look like how my hair line would look if I did not slick my baby hair. So when I don't slick my hair, it just has a little frizz at the front. So that's kind of what I'm trying to create around the whole hairline actually. And then when I do lay it down, I do it according to how I wouldn't always lay my own hairline down. So you may not cut corners, cut wherever you know you do your baby hair. 
like I said, you can wear this wig with full bangs in front. If you do, you don't have to do any of this actually. But since I'm wearing a side part, I want the part to look natural. So I'm going to pull some strands from this side part because as my hair gets to the very edge of my hairline, it's a little wider. So I want to make this look more natural. And this is where people will usually tweeze. But since this is my first wig, and some of y'all, it's probably your first time considering a wig, I want to make this look as simple as possible where you don't need all the extra tools. If you have it, take a little concealer or foundation or eyeshadow, whatever close to your skin color, and you're going to apply it around the hairline of the wig and also on the part. This will help blend the lace better with your actual scalp color or skin color. Now for the very final step, I'm using Extreme Wet Line, what I usually lay my own hair down with, and I'm going to begin brushing the baby hair according to how my natural hairline will be brushed. So I'm just acting like this is my hair. That's really what you have to think about. And since some of my actual hair is out, the short pieces on the edges are what I'm going to use to blend it with my hair. So I'm going to brush the wig hair over the wig edge so that it's covered and blending it with my hair that is out. So just flicking it all down together so it looks natural. Do the same for the front brush out my short hairs as I would on my natural hair. So these are the short hairs from the wig. I don't usually pull out too much hair at the top of my hairline so that's why I brushed it back in and then most of my hair that I brush out is always at the corner so that's why you see I'm focusing on those most. Now just in case you forgot, here is how the hairline looked before I did any of this cutting and all that stuff. And now this is what it looks like. So much more natural because I focused on the frizz, not so much baby hair. This is what my natural hairline looks like. So I'm going to fluff this hair out as I would with any twist out and here are the results of this wig. It looks like my hair. I think so. Go ahead and like below. What do you guys think? Let me know. Here's another close up of the hairline. Like I said, just frizz around the hairline so you don't have to be afraid to flip your hair up don't forget to like the video down below comment let me know what you guys think about it the hair is super full i had a lot of fun with this video so i hope you guys enjoyed it i put all the details to this hair down below in the description box and as always thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe down below i'll see you in my next video